Right. These are some x-rays on a 15 year old Yorkie. She's having, she has a chronic history with allergies, um, skin allergies, uh, environmental allergies. So she's been having a lot of coughing lately. So I decided to take some chest x-rays today. She has no heart murmur, lungs were clear, no, no issues there. So they took this x-ray. I'm looking for collapsing trachea, which of course, you know, you want to look at the uh, cervical inlet, thoracic inlet there, and we kind of missed that. So I have them take a view of her laying on her back, which looks good. I don't notice any issues. You see her microchip there. But overall, I'm happy with how these lungs look. So I had them take an x-ray higher up, and this actually is a really good x-ray because she was having a coughing fit at the time, and you can see how much more narrow her trachea is. So it starts out pretty good here, and then as she, you know, kind of goes down, especially in this area, that thoracic inlet, we have some severe narrowing, so her breathing is really compromised. And then as it gets to the top of the heart, you can see that there is continuing to narrow. So this x-ray is shows a collapsing trachea much more dramatically than this x-ray. You can see how open that is. So timing is everything with getting these x-rays. So I started this dog on some smooth muscle relaxants. We usually like to do hydrocodone, has a codeine derivative in it. We can also use other meds like Torbutrol, and we can also use meds like Lomodal. Anything with a smooth muscle relaxation, generally over-the-counter antihistamines don't work so well. And sometimes they have to have, if it's really severe and meds aren't helping, we have to talk about a surgical stent, and we usually refer for that. So a good case of a collapsing trachea for those of you who want to know what one looks like.